That is Mr. Riker, time for your question directly to Mr. Ferguson. Bob, first you were on the King County Council where you raised taxes by a billion dollars. Now the tax burden for families is higher than ever. Then you became Attorney General. And during our, your 12 years as the state's chief law enforcer, crime has skyrocketed. Murders have more than doubled. The drug crisis has gotten deadlier. After you urged lawmakers to decriminalize fentanyl. If you're not responsible for any of this, Bob, who is? Thanks for that question. First, just on that previous question, hear carefully what he said almost exactly the same law, right? He's acknowledging what he did back in Congress. Number two, look, my record when it comes to balanced budgets that are bipartisan is very clear. I was a budget chair at the King County Council. Look, it's not the size of a state budget, I get that, but it's still a multi-billion dollar budget. Democrats had a one vote majority on the King County Council when I chaired the budget committees. How do we put that budget together? I'll tell you, Dave, two Democrats and two Republicans, we locked ourselves in a room for a couple of weeks and we hammered out the details of that budget and took it to the full council. Guess what happened? Strong bipartisan support from members of both parties to adopt a bipartisan budget. Public safety, thanks for bringing that up. As Attorney General, I work with local, local prosecutors. We've already covered sexually violent predators. They send their cases to me there. Guess what else? As Attorney General, I don't actually have the legal authority to prosecute a case if someone breaks into your car. That's your local prosecutor. But we have a criminal division because prosecutors can ask my team to take a case if they have a conflict or lack the resources, for example, to bring a murder case. And guess what they do? Both Republican prosecutors who endorse my opponent and Democratic prosecutors who endorse me, they send their toughest cases to me and my team. Why? Because they know Dave will use the rule of law to hold folks accountable and stand up for victims year after year, county after county, case after case. You may want to belittle those hardworking folks. That is I time. value them. That is time. Mr. Reichert, 60 seconds. Well, first of all, I, I don't think he answered the question. Uh, <laughs> like I asked you, who's responsible? You've been there 12 years. Are you responsible, Bob? Answer the question, please. Are you responsible? If you're not responsible, who is? Who do, we, who do we look to for leadership if no one takes responsibility? I took responsibility when I was the sheriff. I had to make some tough decisions, life and death decisions. When I was a deputy, when I was the sheriff of King County, I made tough decisions. And when the people asked me about it, I answered the question, yes, I'm responsible. And you know, all he did was talk about his budget how great he was at budgeting. A $1 billion tax increase in eight years in King County by itself? That's crazy. And the state budget in 12 years has doubled. That is time. Not only that, his budget has doubled. Mr. Ferguson, 30, 30 second rebuttal. So Washington State has per capita the lowest number of law enforcement officers of any state in the country. My criminal justice plan details how we're going to change that. In my first budget as governor, we're going to put together a budget that invests $100 million. So local jurisdictions, your cities, your counties, the folks who hire most of the police officers across our state can use those dollars for increased salaries, for signing bonuses. That gets first responders on the streets. That helps solve crimes and lets the prosecutors in my team, in my office, do the work to send those folks away.